is Jimmy Perry from Powerlift from that website you go to resource for all beginning powerlifting information and do not worry about me having the same shirt on in the last or in the previous two videos because I shot all these videos I'm telling you why I did it and I said don't worry but if you weren't worried I'm still gonna tell you why I did it I shot all these videos at the same time same day that's why because I had the articles written even though I did not write this one but pretty good information so it's going on the site and the, believe when I say pretty good information I've had other people write articles for me and I've rejected them because they were just not good and I'm not this is my name you don't know these people but you know me and you know the website and the brand you don't know the people who write the articles which I should put them on here and next time I'll get their information and put them on here but you don't know the people who write those articles so it's like you know me and I'm not doing that to myself or this brand Probably from that website, go to resource for all the politics information or yeah, information. Uh, I say that just to say it. I said that to my mom the other day. It's, it's weird. She's always just talking like she's like, Oh, what's that website? I'm like, Oh, probably from that website, you go to resource for all beginning product information. <laughs> oh, but also, before we get into the article, which is the best deadlift accessory equipment for lifters, it's weird how that just happened. We have the PL, don't forget to check out the, um, the store on the side. We have the PL uh, wrist straps, and things are constantly evolving. These will not look different or not look the same in one year, two years, six months, and it's constantly changing. Or oh, you also have the power lifting PL wrist wraps, helps me with my bench and my lift off. My wrists were killing me, and it hurts even more now that I'm hitting a heavy back, like punching stuff more often. And also, we have the PL lever belts. Uh, links to that i don't have that with me but links are the little link to the store will be in the description and don't forget if you buy the wrist the belt you can get the belt and the wrist straps in a bundle it's like 40 bucks instead of 33 and 14 or 15 or something like that so don't forget to check that out and that's just a, a, an article an option on the site so and all this stuff is good quality i mean i use everything i i use all of this stuff so but first things first let's get into the article first things first what is the deadlift I have an article on that, but basically it's a lift. You you standing straight up with weight. Essentially, there's different like stances. There's RDL, sumo deadlifts, conventional deadlifts. Uh, the one with the bar that's like octagonal or hexagonal. I don't remember the name, but it's trap bar deadlifts, and there's a bunch of different ones. Um, deficit deadlifts, which is what I'm on right now. I like deficits. <laughs> I like deficits. Uh, next one though is why I use equipment um, Equipment basically can keep you safe or enhance your lift um, It's pretty much it or make up for a weakness that you have in certain areas So for instance the wrist straps may take make up for a weakness that you have in your grip uh, or Keeps you from taxing your grip before you're able to get to heavy weights or whatever like it It just it supplements you it doesn't just take it make up for or it doesn't um replace anything um so the types of equipment we have on here deadlift socks and slippers deadlift socks completely necessary if you've ever deadlifted for reps or whatever without resetting or whatever it's fucking painful i if, if i want back if, if i wasn't in this fucking car right now i would show y'all my knees and my or my shins because you're dragging the goal of the deadlift is for speed at least to keep the bar yeah, if you don't want to end up like a friend I have who damaged his back and a lot of other people have the cat back, you want to keep the bar as close to your body as possible to stand up with it because it's, it's not going to, it's fucking painful. You don't, never mind. But the goal of the deadlift is to keep the bar as close to your body as possible. To do that, you sometimes scrape, scrape your shins. Eventually, you scrape your shins enough you're going to bleed. Um, yeah. And then there's slippers. They're, they're supposed to work it basically keep you feeling natural while having giving you something to cover your feet with never use slippers but the socks i believe are completely necessary they fucking help um next thing deadlifting flat shoes i deadlift in converse which i have on right now but flat shoes basically keep you feeling natural they, they take away the heel and you're feeling good i mean I, I don't use them or i don't i just use chuck taylor's uh i have some huff shoes i use sometimes i have like some Pumas, as so long as they have a flat sole and don't have any like excess cushioning, what that'll make my my toes sink into them. That's fun. That puts a lot of pressure on my knees. I don't like that. But um, it also goes over some essentials of a deadlifting shoe. I don't I'm not gonna read this because it's pretty thick. This is, this is a very lengthy article. It's like two thousand words. Um, wrist straps, lifting gloves, chalk. I just started using chalk. Chalk is very good, but the thing is that it sometimes be prepared to 
have bars dig into your hand. Like, this callus would not have... I really... Sh I might stop using it, but this callus would not have been like this. Like, torn off if I hadn't... Made. And another thing is the way my hands were positioned. I let the bar roll, and it was... Bam. But, yeah, my hands started ripping when I used chalk, but it does keep the bar from leaving your hand. It gives you good grip because it takes away the moisture, but be prepared for ruin calluses. Uh, there's wrist straps, which... Um, basically replace your grip um then there's lifting gloves same thing it basically augments your grip um takes it does it has the same effect as chalk uh weight belt i like my weight belt it helps me keep tight um pushes against abdominals and yeah it helps you prevent back injuries uh, it doesn't though not really because i if, if your form is bad enough you will fucking hurt yourself it's a fact uh, and that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel button that red button under the video and the link to this article will be in the description so don't forget to check it out. Oh and check out the store for the products that we have. Alright, you see me at the next one. Peace.